Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Let me know how y'all Christmas was. Hope y'all got everything y'all wanted and then some. My Christmas was cool. I got to spend it in Savannah with some family. I got to see my grandparents. I got to see my uncle in California. I got to see another uncle I haven't seen in a couple years and hung out with my mom, obviously. As y'all can see by the background, y'all should know whenever I'm in this background, that means I'm back in the A. So I'm back in the A right now. Me and my girl are about to go to the Peach Bowl. Ole Miss is playing Penn State. We got some tickets, y'all. I gotta give a big shout out to my girl. She's actually a graphic designer out here in Atlanta. And she worked on this project as far as just the visuals for this game. And she put a lot of work and a lot of effort into this, her and her team. I had to see her for some time now, just working on getting everything from the graphics, staying up late, just to have different designs ready for different teams, depending on who is actually gonna be in the bowl game. It's great to see this pay off. And like, we're seeing her work everywhere from billboards to like the ticket stubs. I'll go ahead and put a picture of one of the graphics so you guys can see actually what it looks like. I'm gonna take y'all through a little bit of what's going on at the game. We do have nosebleed seats. I'm not even gonna cap to y'all. Y'all know I'm a little bougie, but we we a little high up, but free is free, so we gonna take it. I'm gonna tap in with y'all when I get to the stadium. I'm gonna see y'all in a little bit. What's good y'all so we just made it back to the crib the game was dope so you remember how i was telling y'all in the first clip that my girl was working on the designs for the peach bowl well let me show y'all what they had so this right here she actually created this design so that was pretty cool to see people like it in cups, obviously. But now we're getting ready to go to the Botanical Garden. I've never been before. I lived in Atlanta for two years and that's one of the things I always want to do. It's dumb cold outside, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. It's like 40 degrees out here in ATL. Like I'm from Cali, y'all. So I'm low key going through it with the weather. I'm not gonna lie, but we're gonna make the most of it anyway. We about to push. I'll see y'all in a minute. out here that's all i can say it's a vibe man if you can if you got a botanical gardens in your city and you could check it out and they got the lights going and all that i definitely recommend you check it out y'all like we got the backdrop of the city y'all can see the city a little bit like it's a vibe it's always good to be home i'm happy to be home having a good time enjoying myself so i'm gonna get back to enjoying the vibe and then i'm gonna tap in with y'all in a little bit What's good, y'all? As you can see, we're in a different location again. I'm currently at a New Year's Eve party right now, but I had to come talk to y'all real quick before the year ends. Man, it's been just such a ride. This 2023 has just been a journey. It's literally felt like a movie for me, and I'm sure it's felt like that for you guys as well. I want to start out just by saying thank you so much for you guys just continuing to rock with me. 2023, I feel like we've at least started to build up a community of uh, people who really just want to improve in their life and just help each other succeed. And I want to just say that I really do appreciate you guys rocking with me from really just the start of me uploading vlogs. I feel like 2023 just 
really taught me a lot about life and just understanding that life is kind of like a film. It's kind of like a movie in a sense that the script is always changing. There's always new plots taking place. There's always new twists and dramatic turns and things that you didn't expect to happen taking place. But the best thing that I've realized and I'm finally learning to understand is that you control the outcome. You are able to decide how you want your movie to end. I think just with understanding life and understanding the ebbs and flows of things just not always going your way has really taught me a lot. I mean, you've seen me go from living at my mom's house, getting a new job, getting a new house, losing the job, people coming to my life, people leaving my life, and just a little bit of everything in between. I've finally been able to work on shifting my mindset from having the woe is me, the like victim mentality to understand it like, no, like, we're solution oriented people. Like we find solutions to our problems, whether that be mental problems, physical problems, financial problems, whatever the case may be. The beauty in life is the fact that you get to wake up another day and you get to control the outcome. You get to change the narrative. You get to find a solution to the problem now. But I've also learned is that when one problem ends, you get to celebrate a win for a little bit and then a new problem kind of just slowly comes in after that and you have to solve that problem. But that's the beauty of it. And I'm just understanding that life is a journey. Life is a testament to, you know, what do you want to do? What do you want to make out of this life? Like how can you become the best version of yourself as I've said multiple times. And I think for me, the main thing that I want to do in 2024 is really just keeping that mindset in on a daily basis and understand that I'm in charge of my outcomes on a day-to-day -day basis. I need to not really care about what others are thinking, what others have going on, but truly focus on myself and understand that I can create the reality that I want around me at any time. I think if we can all kind of develop that mindset and understand, you know, things obviously take time before things can go your way, but it all starts with shifting your perspective. I'm finally starting to understand that I need to shift from having the mindset of I'm trying to having the mindset of I'm doing Doing and that things are gonna happen and things will go the way I want from making X amount of dollars to lifting X amount of weights to just whatever it is that I have going on just understanding that it all starts up here I'm excited for 2024 I'm excited for everything that's gonna happen on this channel everything that's gonna happen in the real world I'm excited to take you guys on the journey and I hope that I can help you guys in some type of way be on the lookout for some changes taking place on the channel but I just want to come on here real quick and just let each and every one of you know that I'm really Really, really proud of us all for just making it another year. I pray that 2024 you get everything that you want and then some. Yeah, let's continue to go up together. I'm sending y'all more good energy, more positive vibes, cut out the toxic people, cut out the toxic friends. You know, in 2024, really make sure you have the people around you that you need around you so you can boss up and, uh, you know, be that man that you know you're supposed to be. That's going to wrap it up for today's vlog. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe. I'm going to catch y'all in 2024. I'm out, y'all. Peace.